Hey everybody out there in YouTube and video land. Got my bargain gimbal. It doesn't have a gyroscope. We're gonna test this out. I have a microphone and a phone camera. We're gonna go down East Harmon Avenue today. This is one of the lost areas of Vegas where there's a couple of timeshare resorts, the Hard Rock Hotel, which won't be there after a while, and some places you don't wanna go after night. This is a strange little area. I hope you enjoy it. This video is This Is Vegas. If you guys like Vegas, check out the link in the description below so you can get some awesome free stuff in Vegas. Let's go explore East Harmon. We're gonna do a little bit of a, of a tour of the last part of Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Las Vegas. Let's go. So here we are, we're right on the corner. I got McCarran Airport to compete with. That's an airplane taking off and landing and all that good stuff, maybe not all at the same time. And we have a very interesting slice of Vegas for you. As you can see here, we got the retail development that's just popped up over the last two years on the corner of Harmon. We have the Hard Rock Hotel, which is soon to be the Virgin Galactic Intergalactic, who knows what it is. And we also have Shaquille O'Neal's first ever entrepreneurial pursuit as a restaurant tour. Now, I don't know if it's his first ever. It could be his 10th, 12th, 13th. I don't know if he sells Icy Hot out of the chicken shack, but I hope that he doesn't. So here we have Shaq's Big Chicken. Yeah, we have a CVS pharmacy because there's more CVS pharmacies in Las Vegas than I think in several towns in the Midwest combined. We have the German Hof, I can't say it. And if you guys actually look down there, we have the, uh, this is the Thomas and Mack Center above my finger there, home of the uh, UNLV running Rebels basketball team. Hopefully they won't be terrible this year, but who knows what's gonna happen. So what happened? Why is the Hard Rock closed down? Well, the Hard Rock is closed down uh, for the restaurant here because the Richard Branson is buying this resort and changing it over to the Virgin Casino. If you wanna watch more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. We will eventually make our way into the Hard Rock Hotel. I'll have to get a hidden camera somehow. And over here we have the retail center at Harmon. There is a dispensary there called Med Men. You can see it on the sign. I walked past earlier just holding this camera up and a security guy approached me. And I'm a passive dude, I'm not gonna go and fight with security. You certainly can't get inside of a dispensary with a camera. Uh, they're very, very closely gated to the chest just due to federal, state regulations. Federally, it's still prohibited. Uh, if you guys are were interested to know, I don't uh, know much about the strains and how it all works, but marijuana is legal in Nevada if you're over 21. You gotta pay cash, you gotta show a photo ID, and then you better not use that anywhere but in a private residence. Which means that tourists are gonna smoke it on the strip because they don't have a residence. And hotel rooms don't count as residences, just so you know. So Harmon is an interesting street. You wouldn't wanna be caught dead here after dark. That's just the way it is. Even me walking down the street right now with my expensive uh, camera and my gimbal, I don't like the idea of it, but I wanted to do this video because so many things are changing so quickly. Uh, we promote for the timeshare companies here in Vegas, and a couple of them are on this main drag. There's a couple of little hotels that you might want to check out if you're looking for a budget room while you're here too. Uh, the Hard Rock, as I mentioned, is transitioning and changing. There is no real indication about what they're doing here. All it says is they're doing the Hard Rock Hotel Utility Relocation. And you can obviously see that that's not really all they're up to. That's not a utility relocation right there. I don't know if that's a concert venue. I don't know what that is. Lately, everybody's just been adding entertainment and stuff to their resorts. So that could be what that is. But they have some really good steakhouses. Like I mentioned, I think before, we're gonna do a separate video on the Hard Rock. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're gonna talk about some drama here though. Drama's fun. Everybody loves rumors which is the name that this place used to be, Serene, right here. So it used to be called Rumors. It was owned by a company called the Siegel Corporation. And Siegel Company, they did a lot of different little hotel stays and weeklies in Vegas, not places you'd ever want to stay in, 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 in which case. We're going to get to those kinds of hotels in just a minute. The Hard Rock drama, from what I've heard, I've never been to a pool party in Vegas. Every place I've ever lived in had access to a private pool. 
What I've heard though is that people would have sex at the pool parties at the Hard Rock, which was something terrible that you wouldn't want to probably ever witness. Uh, <laughs> I can't substantiate it. <laughs> There's no real proof about it. If you search it, they try to bury this stuff. So you'll never really find anything to back up the claim that there was some, some funky business going on at pool parties. Now, the Serene on the other hand, as I mentioned, it used to be called Rumors and it got sold. The Siegel Group sold it. Now it's a little boutique hotel is what they call these things. And boutique hotels are nice little places off the strip usually. Sometimes the quality can be a little bit spotty. So if you're gonna stay there, I can't vouch for the quality, but make sure that you, uh, you know, do your due diligence and make sure that you get a good room and make sure that you guys are not paying way too much. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my gimbal just exploded on me, but I'm back. I'm determined to make this video work. So, as I mentioned about the Serene, you just make sure you're not paying too much for those kinds of hotels, because it would be a shame if you were paying too much for something when you have something like the Hard Rock, which will be renovated. I'm sure the rooms are very nice, all hanky-panky that may have taken place outside of the swimming pool aside. And again, I don't know if that's true, but if it's true, could you imagine coming to Vegas and you go to a pool party and you pay 50, 60, even $100 cover to get in and that's happening next to you. Oh gosh, I can't imagine. Um, the Alexis Park, here's something interesting. The Alexis Park is a, is a small little resort that most people would never consider, but it's a nice resort. It's a place where people just stay in a nice room. There's a couple of different uh, con uh, little halls that do uh, like ballrooms. Little side note, years ago when I was brand new in the timeshare business and I had no idea what was going on, we actually would send in tours to this place. And we found out that the contract was selling software to websites to try to save you on travel, which is all well and good. And then just like that, he decided that he wasn't gonna pay anybody anymore. <laughs> and we learned our lesson about doing business with small time operations like that. So. It all came to a head where it was me and about five or six other people all standing around waiting to get our commission checks from a guy who was apparently on kidney dialysis. I have no clue. And I heard some <laughs> mobster type stuff where there was a bunch of threats that were made. And uh, he paid everybody and the next week when we showed up on Monday, there was nobody there. It was empty. And the Alexis Park is really nice. I did, sh I did get some footage from what it looks like inside. So uh, we'll show you that footage of the Alexis Park at a later date. You guys can come back and do another video with us. The next thing we're gonna do is get up to the reason why you probably don't wanna walk on East Harmon late at night. So while you have the Hard Rock, while you have the Alexis Park, you do have some places that are not too nice. And it's just a way uh, of life in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very transient city. There's a lot of folks that come out here to start their lives over. And there's a lot of people that come here to hide, you know? There's a lot of folks that come out here to get away from it all because they can be anonymous or they think they can. In a city as surveillance state as Las Vegas, it blows me away that people think they can hide here. Because I'll tell you this right now, there's about a million different cameras pointing at you at any given moment everywhere in this darn city. But what I'm talking about, quite frankly, is the Harbor Island. <laughs> the Harbor Island, everybody wants to be on camera and be a movie star. The Harbor Island is what's known as a weekly rental in Las Vegas. They also do monthly rentals. And although it looks just like a standard hotel room, it's anything but. Uh, the Harbor Island has been around for a long time. We put up somebody to work on our timeshare team out here to do promotions and marketing. And he, after the first day, called up our company and said, uh, I can't do it. I can't be in there. He said, what happened? He goes, at two o'clock at night last night, somebody was banging on the door asking for Jerry. I'm not Jerry. I guess Jerry was the guy that was there last and Jerry had the drugs. So this is what you get on Harmon. So, you can see the benefits of this kind of a place though. I mean, free utilities, direct TV, high-speed internet, fully furnished, sparkling pools and laundries. Well, 
not necessarily everything is what it says. I mean, do you get DirecTV? Sure, but you don't get DirecTV with a program guide, you just get some channels. Do you get internet? Yes, probably. There's most likely a computer in their lobby, whether or not it works. Whether or not the monitor is bigger than 14 years or 14 inches and 25 years old, sure, there's high-speed internet. Who knows if it's Wi-Fi? I can't imagine they've invested in Wi-Fi for the property, but prove me wrong. This is the Americana Apartments, and the Americana Apartments are, again, uh, fully furnished, one-bedroom units. You do get a kitchen. A couple of years back, the whole entire side of that building burnt to the ground. It was literally just a wood frame. Uh, if I recall, somebody unfortunately did have their life taken in that, and they never found out the reason. They didn't know if it was arson. They didn't know if it was somebody doing drugs and falling asleep with a crack pipe. Nobody really knew why, but it burnt to the ground and they ended up rebuilding it. You can't ever tell it burnt to the ground. Not the kind of place you want to have to stay, but if you come into Vegas and you have just a photo ID and a bunch of cash in your pocket, they don't do any kind of credit checks. They'll take your money all day long. These will run you between 150, maybe on a promotional rate, $250. It really just depends and you get your utilities um, you can see the las vegas wash kind of runs through here if we take a look you can see that there's a bridge that goes to harbor island i think that's where they gave it its moniker harbor island and what's really unfortunate in vegas is that a lot of times you get people that end up living underneath the bridges and in the causeways i think there's a miniature documentary on youtube you can look up on this I have seen this during the rainy season and we haven't really hit much rain here in Vegas yet. I've seen this in the rainy season with water so high up that it was cresting up here. You couldn't actually drive through this driveway. You can see down here some ducks, not in the nicest habitat for them. And uh, yeah, this is what the Vegas water looks like. It's more water than you'd ever see during the summer because it is winter time and we do have some kind of runoff. And if you take a look right there, yeah, you would figure that this would be a lot greener if it was only 60 or 50 degrees every day, but it's not. I don't know, it's just a weird thing to see, you know, combination of birds and wildlife <laughs> and the hard rock <laughs> and this kind of place right here. And the strip is in the distance, so. Before I give you guys all vertigo and make you dizzy and vomity from spinning around, let's continue on our journey. If we take a look across here, it'll say Monterey Grand Manor, right down there. That's just a little apartment place. I imagine those are not weeklies. I can't say for sure, but those are the kinds of places where you can get in Vegas. The rents in Vegas, by the way, as a side note, crazy bad right now. It's not a renter's market, it's an owner's market. You used to be able to get a place for 50 to 75 cents per square foot. And to be honest with you, rents have gone up to well over a dollar per square foot. So if you could rent a 1,600 square foot home in 2010 for $850, $900, 1,600 square feet, it's now gonna run you minimum, minimum 1,500, if not $1,700, $1,800 as a renter in Vegas. Which makes this option over here quite possibly seem a lot more affordable and a lot more nice for people. But who's to say? We got the Wyndham Grand Desert. That is a giant timeshare property. Wyndham is one of the most giantest properties ever, ever. There's like 4,000 of them across the planet. And uh, they do local timeshare promotions here in Vegas on site where they will try to sell you a Wyndham timeshare somewhere, maybe Vegas, maybe off site. We're going to be finished up in just a moment as we get to the corner of Koval Lane and Harmon. We got a lot of spare land out here. A lot of it. More of these weekly places. Harmon Crossings. This may not be a weekly because it doesn't advertise it as a weekly. But, you know, they have move-in specials. Advertise all your utilities are paid. You don't have any worries in the world except for the bed bugs. And there are bed bugs, trust me. It's a big problem. And for every place in Vegas that you see that has a fence around it, there's usually a giant plot of land with a bunch of burnt out stuff on it. We're just gonna take a walk over here and see what it looks like on the other side of this fence. 
not sure what they're going to be doing with this property. But you should get a decent view of the strip from here, if anything, to give you an idea. And you know, the sad part about this is that even though there's this awesome view of the strip, there's no, there's no windows. <laughs> so <laughs> the Harbor Island, this is zoned for a hotel use. And the story was in the past that this was supposed to be the prestigious W Resorts entry into Las Vegas. It never did happen. The W Resorts ended up getting connected with the SLS. And the SLS is actually way up there on the other side. And the W Resorts ended up having a tower up there, but the SLS recently took that tower down and said, no more W Resorts branding. We're gonna go our own way. Rumor has it that they're doing a giant rebranding this year and they're gonna be calling themselves uh, the Sahara Grand or the Grand Sahara. Uh, not sure which way they'll go, but it's possible that they will do that. We're gonna move along here and finish our journey up on the other side of the Wyndham timeshare where I have parked my vehicle and I will get back in. So, you know, this is the crazy parts about it. Vegas is not always glamorous. This would be a so-called bad part of Las Vegas. This is a part of Las Vegas where you probably wouldn't want to live for long. This is a part where you wouldn't want to be over after dark. But this is still a part of Vegas and the people that live here still have stories. They still have things to tell you. The guy walking on the other side, if you can see him right now, uh, he has a magic show on the strip. I've seen him out there for years. He calls himself Jungle Josh. Jungle Josh. I may actually have Jungle Josh in a video, and if I do, I'll slap it at the end of this. It won't be very good quality because it was about 10 years ago I took it. Guys, I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to thank you for watching this video. I'll tell you to keep watching and please subscribe. And if you're going to be in Vegas, why not hit us up? The website in the link below can get you some free stuff while you're here. As long as you hit a few simple qualifications, get Vegas for free. www.vegasforfreenow.com Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.